Hello again, thanks for watching. My name is Joseph Catrona. This video will cover how to create a local view for SolidWorks PDM. And another way to say that is I'm trying to attach this PC to the new server that we've implemented for PDM. Or perhaps it's not even a new server, perhaps it's a new workstation. And I'm trying to connect it to that collaborative PDM vault environment where we keep all of our production data, everything related to SolidWorks and production and manufacturing. So I can verify that PDM is already installed on this client machine by looking under the program files here um, in my start menu and it's going to be under SolidWorks PDM and there's the administration tool and all the things that come with SolidWorks PDM. Now, as long as that's installed, I should find a program under that same area called View Setup. So if you just like browsing your start menu, we're looking for SolidWorks PDM View Setup. Now, this is a wizard that will guide an end user through the process. So I might be an engineer, I might be a shop personnel, I could be any range of roles in the vault and this wizard will help me to get where I need to go. In other words, I don't need administrative access to use this wizard. So you can see there's a welcome screen and I can choose next and the very next screen is obvious. It tells me here's the server that is broadcasting. I, in other words, the client has found a PDM server on this same network. Now, in some cases, because of firewalls or security of, of some type, you may not see the server broadcasting. So you can just add it manually here. And the port is always going to be 3030. So just add the server name if you don't see it. And then click the checkbox before hitting next. Now, depending on how your system is set up, you may need to authenticate. So this is a Windows account. The server is asking, who are you in terms of a Windows network person? What is your network credentials here on the, in my case, the domain is the CAMS domain. And so who are you on that domain? So we should have a username or maybe we need to borrow um, uh, an IT person for this step. And as soon as you've authenticated through that Windows domain gate, you can choose next. And then on this screen, we can select vaults. So after attaching to that server, now the client software can see which vaults exist there. I've only got one in my case, it's the demo vault. So I will go ahead and choose that and click next. Now this screen, we should choose to leave everything as is on this screen. The reason being is that this C drive is the best place for your local view. Your attachment point should be placed on the C drive because the path can become very long here inside of your project folders, inside of your vault, down inside of some part number folders. You can imagine how in depth the path might become inside of that vault. So we want to keep it as close to the C drive as possible to preserve that 256 character limit which Windows places on us. Also, it's a good idea to leave this box checked and that will save some headache if this machine is used by others in the future or just maybe it's a shared computer. So I'll choose next and finally finish. Now PDM is going to go ahead and prompt me to log in because basically it wants to open that folder that we've just created. And if you go and look on your C drive, right where we told it to go, I'm already logged in. When I double click on this now, I can see the folders and I'm basically inside the vault now. I'm ready to collaborate. That vault view has been created. That's essentially what we have created. This shortcut folder, which is an access point to the vault which lives on the server. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out or leave us a comment. 
There's another way to do this from an administrative standpoint, and that would be to access the admin tool, the PDM admin tool. It's called administration if you like to just search under your start menu, and it can be found under those program uh, start menu folders as well. And so we'll log in from an administrative standpoint, connect first, admin. and once you're connected, you can right click on this vault and choose to create a local view. Now that option isn't here because I already have a local view, but keep in mind if you're an admin, this might be a quicker way to go about creating those vault views. Again, thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or requests for future videos, please feel free to drop us a line in the comments section.